Jimbo 203, I got you another one. So the picture you just seen of the young man who got killed in Bridgeport yesterday. And here's the story. A 25-year-old man from Shelton died Friday night after being shot near Beechwood Ave. According to Bridgeport Police, George John, 25, arrived at St. Vincent Medical Center close to midnight Friday. Emergency Management Director Scott Appleby said in a release, shot in the chest, he died after extensive efforts by medical staff to save his life. Police have received a shot spotter alert near 725 Beechwood Ave at 11:21. Appleby said witnesses told police that John was shot on Beechwood Ave, then transported by private vehicle to the hospital. Detectives process a scene at the shooting location and are actively investigating the homicide of John. Appleby said, "Anyone with information about the crime is asked to contact Detective Winkler." At this number here, or the Bridgeport Police Tips line, they also have the number on the screen. And it doesn't end there, guys. So, yesterday, same day, on August 29, 2020, police were dispatched and received a report of a person down in the area of Iranistan Avenue in Hanover Street. Officers located, now this time, a 24-year-old male lying on the sidewalk, suffering from an apparent gunshot wound to the head. The victims were pronounced dead. The victim was pronounced dead at the scene by AMR medical personnel. Detectives processed a crime scene at this location and are interviewing witnesses who may have knowledge of the incident. Anyone with information about the crime is asked to call Detective Clinton or Cintron at this number here, or the Bridgeport Police Tips line at this number on the screen. So, it's just that, guys. Um, growing up over in Bridgeport, um, it's just a very dangerous place. I'm, I lost, I mean, probably three dozen friends, I'm, that may be a low number. I'm, I mean, I lost so many friends. It, I can't, you know, I sleep, when I sleep at night, I wake up and I think about them. I, mostly all my closest friends are gone. There's so much violence. And it was even worse back in the 80s and 90s. But now it's starting to pick up again. And most of these crimes are young kids uh, doing them and young kids dying. There's a lot of parents out there with no kids, you know, lost their kids. Very, very sad. Um, I like to say condolences to the families of both these young men. And also rest in peace to both these young men. I hope you're in heaven, looking down on your family, taking care of them. I hope the families are okay and are strong and make it through it. I've lost so many that it's just, it's numb. Like my body's numb when I see another one, another one. It's just, you wouldn't understand unless you lost over three dozen friends. Uh, bro I lost my brother and my sister-in-law, uh, many, many, many friends. Uh, probably, I think I was four or five years old, my first friend got killed. He, he got pushed off a bridge, but most of my friends died of gun violence. And it's just very sad to see it keep going on after all these years. Um, this next clip I'm going to play you is from a memorial at the site of where Mr. George John died. Rest in peace.
get the box. Hold the box. I finished it. Hold it. I'm a good dog, guys. You heard? Shot for a new fork. You ain't safe for shit. You ain't safe for shit. 